Welcome back to BT. And grocery stores may look a little different in a post-pandemic shopping world. Enter the Exterminator, a Toronto-made uh, machine to kill bacteria on cardboard and plastic surfaces. Very cool. We've got the two co-founders of Exterminator this morning. We have Derek Gallinger and Alyssa Mincer. I can't wait to get into this. So many of us feel so mm -hmm. much stress when going to the grocery store, and we know this is such a stubborn virus that can live on surfaces. So how does this work? When did you come up with this? And thank you. <laughs> No, no, it's our pleasure. Um, actually, the way it came about was Alyssa called me up one day at the beginning of all of this, and she was really stressed out because she had, you know, was sick and tired of wiping her groceries down, and there was a new baby coming into the family. Her sister was about to have a baby, and she was just like, how do we keep everyone safe? So um, she said, you know, I just saw an, an Instagram ad for UBC to sanitize cell phones. Like, do you think we could use this for groceries? And, like, the entrepreneur problem solver and me was like, I have nothing else to do. Let's figure this out. <laughs> so six, uh, you know, Lissa and I together found um, our partners. So we picked a, a group called Prescient, who was developing technology for medical industry, very similar type of machine. And it had almost had Health Canada approval. So we were like, we're going to go with them and we're going to see if we can modify that machine for the grocery retail environment. And that's where we're at right now. And uh, a friend of mine, Brad, is the one who runs Summerhill Markets, and he said that the, the reaction was pretty great from all the staff there and the customers. Uh, what did you hear from the customers? Yeah, uh, you want me to take this? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we found it was overwhelmingly positive. We were kind of debating between whether people who were wiping down their groceries were only going to be the ones that were interested in it, or if across the board people were going to be really interested in it. And we found that even people who weren't wiping down their groceries at home and taking those precautions said that they would use a service if it was offered to them. Yeah, they would pick the gro they, they would pick the line with the exterminator no matter what. So, you know, it kind of refuted what we thought, which was that our market or the demand would only be from people who were like taking this incredibly seriously. But, you know, the technology exists to help us stay safe. Like, why would everyone want to use it, right? Yeah, one less worry. So we're seeing how it works. It mm -hmm. goes under the uh, conveyor belt. The UVs then help remove. Is it 99 percent? What's the percentage in terms of removing any germs, bacteria on the surfaces? And would it work for something like clothing in those retail stores? Right. This is really, really good question. So we can't until Health Canada gives a approval, we can't make any claims. Right. But we can what we can say is that once they go, we go through the process with them, they will give us the approval to make the claims because it's a science. So the UVC, we're, we're dosing the items that are going through with a, 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 a dose of UVC that's been proven to inactivate all the viruses and bacteria that we're worried about. So, you know, this, and we can prove it every time with dosing meters and whatnot. So that's the, you know, that's the case. Whether what, what we can say is what we can say. We can say hopefully eventually once we get the approval, 99.9% .9 sanitization. That's the goal. Yeah. And, and you yeah. see the one that you had in Summer, Summer Hill Market, and that one's, it's, it's large. Let's be real about that. And, right. and, and people are going to want to know if they're a retailer, what's the cost going to be and is it going to be smaller? Yeah, so we are like, that was just a prototype, yeah. and that was the prototype for the medical use machine. So we knew going into it that the goal would be we have to shrink it down by half. We have to make it in, like so it can integrate really seamlessly into the cash out environment. Mm. Um, we're already working on that version right now. It's like pretty awesome that we took one day for us in Summerhill to kind of know exactly what we needed to do. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly, like, you know, the, the, the final model is going to integrate perfectly into the cash out experience. It's going to be super, super safe, super effective. Um, yeah, it's going to be a new world, we believe, anyway. Yeah, the uses yeah. would be endless. I'm just thinking yeah. like hair salons, people sitting in the chairs there, nail salons. And trying on clothes might be a thing of the past unless you could maybe scan it under a light first. You don't want to put on a sweater that 10 other people tried on. Right. Like, we're just thinking about when those stores it's, open, it's a game how changer. shopping's going to change. So thank you for this. There's going to be many practices for it. Stay safe and keep doing what you're doing. You're leading the way with this technology. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank take you care. so much. We'll That's, take a quick break. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. Real, right? Brilliant. Yeah. More BT right after this with celebrations.